Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your keyboard on your Galaxy S5. Now, I strongly recommend you do follow these instructions as this will make your experience typing on the Galaxy S5 much better. First thing you want to do is go into the settings section and then go under system and then language and input. Once we get here, we're going to hit the language and input section, and then we're going to hit the settings button on the Samsung keyboard. From here, obviously the first thing you want to do is if your language is not selected, then you want to add your correct language. Once you have done so, we're going to scroll down and start with predictive text. So predictive text allows you to allows your phone to learn from the way you type on previous uh, things you have typed, and it can even learn from your social media and other forms. So you, have, you can learn from your Facebook, Gmail, Twitter, message, and contacts. And this is something that's really simple and easy to do. As soon as I hit any of them, it will learn from it. Now for Facebook and Gmail, of course you do have to log in. And once you do, it will learn very quickly from your various forms, whether it be Facebook, Gmail, text message, or contacts. Now this can be very helpful and it will make your typing experience much better. Although the information that is collected is completely unknown, you can, of course, not participate in this if it just doesn't sit right with you. Now the second big thing is not only for auto replacement to replace exactly again to your correct language, but my shortcuts is an amazing feature. What this allows you to do is when you hard press any key on the number row, it will t put in what you have. So for number one through nine, I put in it just like a keyboard on my computer. So one gives an exclamation point, two gets an at symbol, three gives a pound, and four gives a dollar sign, and so on and so forth. However, you can be very creative with this as well. So for instance, I have my zero be a word. And that is when I hold down zero, it will say YOLO. And yes, I realize this is, you know, something that most people wouldn't do, but it's really nice just for if you do use a common phrase or word, you can literally type it all out and it will remember that when you hard press a number. This is really great for people that often use the same phrase or words at times, and it really makes it a great feature on the Galaxy S5. Now you also have everything here. So you have auto spacing, which can uh, be good or be annoying depending on your take. You have auto capitalization, you have auto punctuation, uh, which again can be good or bad. And you have keyboard swipe. So keyboard swipe will mean what it's going to do. So you can do the uh, swipe function, meaning that when you swipe, it'll come up with a word. Cursor control, which is my personal favorite, and flick input, which just doesn't seem to work all that well, in my opinion. Once you go down, you will have sound, vibration, character preview, which is that little bubble popping up at the top, and press to hold delay. I recommend setting the press to hold delay uh, to short instead of medium. It just makes the whole experience go by quicker. If ever you did something that you regret doing, just click reset settings. And that is how to set up your keyboard on the Galaxy S5. If you have any questions about this, feel free to ask. And if you found this video helpful, please give a like, thumbs up down below. Thank you for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.